everyone, so today I am here to do my birthday book haul. It was my 18th birthday on September 2nd, this little bit ago, just a little bit ago, a week ago now. But I got a ton of amazing books as well as a couple other presents that I wanted to show you guys, so that is what I'm going to do today. So I'm actually going to start with the presents that aren't book related just because there are only a few of them. And the first one came in this cute little package from my friend Anna. And I thought this was really adorable little package, so I decided to keep it. And she got me Okami Den for my Nintendo DS or 3DS. And this I have heard and she told me is very, very similar to Zelda. It's one of her favorites, which is why she got it for me. So because we have such similar preferences and things, so. I also got Zelda Majora's Mask for the Nintendo 3DS from my brother. This is the newest Zelda game. I know it came out months ago, but I just never got around to getting it, and then Carl, my brother, decided to get it for me for my birthday, so perfect. I'm so excited to play this one. I really enjoyed it as a... Nintendo 64? Was it for the Nintendo 64? Oh my god. No, what What gaming console did we play that on? Was it Nintendo 64 or was it GameCube? Oh, I don't even know, guys, but I've heard this remake is really, really great. And my last present that is not book related is sitting right behind me if you guys didn't notice. It is this bearded dragon plushie my friend got me because bearded I've wanted a bearded dragon since I was about in second grade. Uh, and I'm not allowed to get one until I'm out of the house. So she decided to get me this little guy to kind of fill the void. Um, we have named him Hercules because I have a name picked out for my bearded dragon in real life. And it's a Disney name so we decided to keep with the Disney theme and name this guy Hercules. And he's going to fill the void for another year or two before I can get my own. Now we're going on to books and I got a total of seven books. I also have a couple books that I got for myself, so I'm gonna start with those. So uh, just a couple of days before my birthday, I saw these books on sale at a book site called Thrift Books, um, which I very much enjoy. Uh, they were very, very cheap, and I was just like, I have wanted to get into the series for a while, so I decided to just get all of them. And that is the Fever series by Karen Marie Monning, uh, which is Dark Fever, Blood Fever, Fay Fever, Dream Fever, and Shadow Fever. Uh, you probably have seen these on booktube quite a bit recently. Everyone has been reading them. I have finished the first one, and I'm on to the second one, and I really, really enjoyed it, so I'm very excited I decided to get all of them, which I don't usually do anymore because... I end up, anytime I buy more than one book in a series, I end up hating it, so I don't do that anymore, but I'm very glad I liked the first one. I got all of these books for a total of $12, so that is the beauty of thrift books. Yes, The Spine is Cracked and it's an older book, most of them, but $12 for an entire five book series, like how can you go wrong with that? The next three books are all from my parents. And this book is going to be in everyone's haul for September um, because it came out on September 1st, which is the day before my birthday. I did get it on September 2nd, so I was a day behind. And that is Queen of Shadows by Sarah J. Mass. Um, I love this cover. These covers for these books are beautiful. I am in the middle of reading it right here. My mom is also reading it. I've been reading it quite slow because, spoiler alert, I'm not enjoying it that much. Um, which is disappointing, but my mom's loving it, so at least we didn't buy it for nothing, but also this cover is gorgeous. Oh, My mom also got me Firefight by Brandon Sanderson. This is the second book in the Reckoners trilogy, which I absolutely loved the first book, Steelheart, and she knew that, so she ended up getting me this one. But yes, obviously Brandon Sanderson is one of my favorite authors, and I'm just so excited to continue this series, and I'll be doing that very soon. Very soon. And the last book that my mom picked up for me was Gathering Darkness by Morgan Rhodes. This is the third book in the Fallen Kingdom series. I read the first two in August, just a couple weeks ago I read them, and I thought it was a trilogy. It's not. 
Um, the fourth book is coming out in, I believe, December, so I will definitely be reading that one before then, so I can pick up the new one right away and just read it, or, you know, wait for Christmas, which is probably what I'll end up doing, but I can pick it up and read it and finally be caught up on this series. Apparently it's a series. I thought it was a trilogy, but whatever. The next couple of books are all from my friends. My friends. Because I have friends who get me books, so they're keepers. The first book I got was from my friend Rachel, and that is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. Sabah Tahir? Can't pronounce that. Um, this was marketed as a standalone fantasy novel, which is why I became interested in it. Um, it is now gonna either be a series or a duology. Ho I'm hoping I can read just this as a standalone, but who knows? But yes, I have heard nothing but good things about this. I have been very interested ever since it came out. Thank you, Rachel. I am going to be reading this super soon, probably in the next couple of months, because I have been waiting for this book for a long time. The next book is from my friend Emily, and I'm so excited about it, and it is Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. This is a graphic novel, and I am just so excited for this. The art, first off, looks incredible, because Noelle Stevenson has drawn other things, and this art style reminds me a lot of The Bravest Warriors, which is my favorite comic series, obviously. Um, but this book actually follows a villain, and this girl, Nimona, joins him as his sidekick, and but they're villains, and that just sound, that just makes it so cool. So I'm very excited to pick this one up. I realized my graphic novel pile is like not even existing. I literally, including this one, I only own three graphic novels because I have so much freaking manga and comic books. I never realized I actually don't have that many graphic novels, but. Hopefully, I'll just start reading more of them, starting with this one. So indirectly from Anne, I have Uprooted by Naomi Novik. I have had my eye on this for since it came out, before it came out, actually. I saw someone haul a arc of this and talk about it, and I was like, that looks gorgeous, that looks amazing, I'm getting this book, I'm reading it. And I am not disappointed, it's gorgeous. Look at it naked, it's like this peachy white, oh I love it. And yes, this cover is not as gorgeous as the UK one, but I still personally really like it. I love just the detail of it, you know? And also the deckled edges, or whatever this is called, like the uneven edges. And yes, if you didn't know what this is about, it's about a, I, this is actually a fantasy standalone that follows a person who lives in a castle tower thing outside of this village and every couple of years he requests that one girl from the village come and kind of be his like assistant and yes I'm super pumped about this one and I'm just oh this is so Instagram worthy bookstagram worthy oh it's so pretty and the final book I have I'm a little late to the bandwagon on this because I was waiting to buy it but then some this this occurred and I got it, and that is Armada by Ready Player One. Technically this was a birthday present because my friend got me a gift certificate to my local bookstore, but it is signed. Ah! This is my second signed book I've ever owned in my entire life, um, and I'm very glad it's Ernest Cline because I loved Ready Player One. I have heard mixed reviews about this book. I love Ernest Klein. Ready Player One is one of my all-time favorite books, as it is with most people. And I'm just really excited to read this book. I don't really care what other people have been thinking about it. I'm excited for it. So these are all of the books that I got for my birthday from my friends and family. So those are all of the books that I got for my birthday from myself, as well as from my family and friends. It was an awesome birthday. I thank you to everyone who got me presents. I absolutely have loved every single thing I've gotten this year. And it was a great 18th birthday. So thank you very much. But anyways, that is all for my birthday book haul. I love you all and I will see y'all soon. Bye! Oh my god, these are so heavy. Oh, did you see my arm trembling there? Oh my god, I need to start working out or something. That was really hard to lift.